AI is transforming the way businesses operate, and pretty much every company is looking ways of how to use this technology in a day-to-day -day operation. As a result, the demand for AI and machine learning skills has skyrocketed in the past few years. With nearly four years experience in the AI and ML field, I want to give you the ultimate roadmap of how you can break into this area. Let's get into it. It's no secret that AI and machine learning are probably one of the most desired skills to have nowadays. Being well versed in these fields will open up so many job opportunities going forward because you're literally at the cutting edge of scientific research. And to be blunt, you'll probably be paid quite a lot. According to Levels FYI, the median salary of a machine learning engineer in the UK is 93K and that for an AI engineer is 75K. Whereas for a data scientist, it's 70K and for a software engineer, it's 83K. So there's a clear trend that having these AI and machine learning skills will increase your earning potential over other tech professions. And to be honest, the way the industry and the way the field is going, this gap between people who know AI and people who don't, that last salary increase is gonna become more prominent as we go forward in the future. You also don't need a PhD in maths, physics, computer science to work in AI and ML. All you need is pretty much really good understanding of the fundamentals, good engineering skills, and just being really good at problem solving and you can work in this area. Most jobs are not gonna be where you're actually doing AI research. You're more just developing existing systems and algorithms and implementing them to solve real world problems. For example, I work as a machine learning engineer, but I don't do cutting edge research. Most of my work is just, like I said, finding current existing solutions and working out how they can fix certain issues or optimize certain things in our business benefiting the customers and thus the company. Now, you don't just have to be in an ML or AI engineer. There's so many other roles that use these technologies, like data scientist, software engineer, who's a focus on AI and ML, data engineer, also have a focus of AI and ML, data scientist, applied scientist, and also machine learning engineer and AI engineer. So there's so many roles that you can do, and one of those will probably suit your skill set more than the others. So you don't just have to be strictly in the AI engineer space to work with these technologies, like I said. If you want to learn more about these various data and machine learning roles, then I recommend checking out some of my previous videos, which I'll link on screen here and also in the description below. Right, let's now go into the actual roadmap. I'd argue that solid math skills are probably the most important, particularly if you're gonna work in machine learning and AI. You need a good grounding in the fundamental maths so you can really understand how the AI and ML algorithms work under the hood because this will build intuition and also allow you to better work with them and have better solutions ultimately. Don't get me wrong, you don't need a PhD in maths, physics, you know, like I said earlier, but you should have a really good understanding of the following, linear algebra, so you, you know things like matrices, eigenvalues, matrix operations, and these things are used pretty much everywhere in machine learning, particularly for neural networks. You should also understand calculus, things like turning points, gradients, because these play a big factor in understanding things like back propagation and gradient descent, which are essentially the algorithms that teach machine learnings how to learn. And finally, you should understand statistics because pretty much everything in machine learning relies on data and data ultimately is statistical. So it's not perfect, but you need to understand how to work with statistical theory, hypothesis testing, probability distributions, things like that. Now, the resources I recommend you use to learn that maths is one, the Practical Statistics for Data Scientists textbook, Pretty much the only book you need on stats and it's directly applied in Python so you get best of both worlds. The Mathematics for Machine Learning textbook, pretty much, you know, that is the one book you need to learn all the maths. It is a little bit dense, so I recommend using it as a reference text, but it's a fantastic textbook. If videos are more your style, then I recommend The Essence of Linear Algebra by Free Blue, One Brown. It's literally the best visual representation of mathematics on the internet, so definitely check it out. And finally, I recommend platforms like Brilliant or Khan Academy. They have so many resources, videos, tutorials on pretty much everything in the STEM field, so there'll be something there that you'll like, or at least you'll benefit from learning. Those resources are pretty much everything you need, and to be honest, it might be a bit overkill in some areas. Now, how long it takes to learn this essential maths kind of varies because it depends on your background. But in general, I would say it'll take a couple to a few months if you're starting from like a high school education. Python is a gold standard and go-to language when it comes to machine learning and AI. Beginners often get caught up in the idea of what's the best way to learn Python. 
In reality, any intro course will suffice and they'll teach you pretty much the same thing. The main things you want to learn are native data structures like dictionaries, arrays, sets, tuples, things like that, if and while statements, for loops, classes, functions, just all the fundamental syntax you need to write a good Python code. You also want to learn some of their data science slash machine learning libraries like NumPy, which is useful for efficient vector operations, Matplotlib and Seaborn and Plotly for visualizing your data, Pandas for doing manipulation and also just doing your kind of data analysis. And finally, scikit-learn for classical machine learning problems. The resources I recommend you use are one, which is a free resource, is a W3 Schools Python tutorial. I've used it in the past and it's amazing. If you want a paid course, then the one by University of Michigan, which is just an intro to Python course, is fantastic. And it's probably the most recommended course on Python out there for good reason. And to learn all the data science machine learning packages, I recommend a free CoCam video, which is quite long, but it'll teach you pretty much everything you need to know about how to use these packages in a machine learning setting. Again, depending on your background and your previous experience of Python, it will vary how long it will take you to learn everything. But again, a couple of months should be enough, particularly if you're starting with a little bit of programming experience. Now, you're not learning data structures and algorithms purely to pass interviews. They are used quite a lot in the AI and ML space. You will come across things like backtracking, depth first search and binary trees more than you think. The things you need to learn are arrays and linked lists, trees and graphs, hash maps, queues and stacks, sorting and searching algorithms and dynamic programming. The resources I recommend you use are Neatcode, this fantastic course that's the one I took and it's probably the best data structures and algorithms course out there and also use Leetcode and Hackerank to practice problems. Given you already have the maths and Python knowledge, Learning data structures and algorithms should take you about a month, at least to be able to answer a lot of the easy and medium questions on lead code. This is where the fun begins. All the previous steps were to lay the foundation for you to properly tackle and really understand machine learning. In general, machine learning falls into two categories. The first one is supervised learning, where essentially your target data is labeled and unsupervised learning, where you basically don't have any labeled target data. The diagram on screen here will show you the split and some algorithms in each area. But the main algorithms you should learn are linear, logistic, and polynomial regression, decision trees, random forest, and gradient booster trees, support vector machines, k-means, and k-nearest neighbor clustering, and then concepts like feature engineering, gradient descent, regularization, cross-validation, just the main things and concepts behind how to effectively train machine learning models. Now, machine learning is a massive space, but the following four resources I'm gonna give you should cover pretty much everything you need to know, and it probably even breaches on the advanced level of knowledge. The first resource I recommend is Andrew Ung's Machine Learning Specialization. I've said this so many times in so many videos, is by far and away the best course that you could take on machine learning and it's literally like $100. So I recommend starting with that one. If you want something a bit more concise then the 100 page ML book by Andre Bukov is fantastic. It's more of a reference text or something you want to use to brush up your fundamentals. It doesn't go into that in depth because obviously it's 100 pages but it's really good to have as like not bedside reading but just to have in your toolkit that you can refer or if you want to like brush up on something you already know then this textbook is fantastic for that. Then it's the hands-on ML or scikit-learn, carers and TensorFlow textbook. Again I've said it many times but if I had to give you one textbook to learn machine learning this would be it. It covers everything from the basics all the way to LLMs and reinforcement learning. So if you're strapped for budget and you can get one textbook, then get this one. And finally, this one's a bit more advanced and quite mathematically dense, but the elements for statistical learning is amazing. Machine learning is just statistics under the hood, and this textbook will really dive deep into that statistical learning theory that is the fundamentals behind machine learning. Like I said, machine learning is massive, so this section will probably take you quite a lot of time. But you can cover pretty much the fundamentals and the basics in about three months. But in reality, it'll take you years, if not decades, to master everything in this field. So don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just nail the fundamentals and the rest will come with time. There has been a lot of hype around AI since ChatGPT was released in 2022. In reality, what we call AI is actually a really small subsection of the whole AI umbrella. The diagram on screen here will show you that. So we have AI on top, 
then we have machine learning, then we have deep learning, and finally we have in the middle, generative AI. Now, when most people think of AI, they're actually thinking of generative AI, which is AI that's used to generate things like images, words, speech, you know, when you type in to chat GPT, it generates text. So it's a generative AI system. But like I said, AI is such a more broader term than just what we refer to nowadays. In fact, AI in its current form can actually be dated back to the 1950s when the first neural network was proposed. Until recently, the whole AI space was dominated mainly by two models, which were convolutional neural networks, which is used for computer vision, and recurrent neural networks, which are used for time series and speech data. However, in 2017, Google released a paper called Attention is All You Need, where they introduced the transformer architecture or the transformer model. Today, transformers are pretty much the state of the art and are the backbone behind algorithms like ChatGPT and LLMs. Now, with all this in mind, and after that short history lesson, these are the things you need to learn. So the first one is neural networks, which are pretty much the origination of AI, like I said. CNNs and RNNs, so these are still used nowadays, but less so, but they're really important to understand before you move on to the advanced concepts. After you learn CNNs and RNNs, then you should learn transformers, which like I said, are the current state of the art and are pretty much the most dominant ML algorithm at the moment. Then I would learn things like RAG, vector databases, prompt engineering, prompt tuning. So all the things, all the technologies we use nowadays or concepts to make AI better. And finally, if you have time, I recommend investing some time learning reinforcement learning. The resources I recommend is the Deep Learning Specialization by Andrew Ng. That's a follow-on course from the Machine Learning Specialization. And it'll dive deeper into neural networks, RNNs, CNNs, and also a bit of transformers. I'd also watch Andre Kopafi's Introduction to LLMs video. If you don't know who he is, he's like probably one of the best AI researchers out there. He was senior AI director at Tesla and also worked at places like Google and Microsoft. So he's very well versed and he knows what he's talking about. He also released a video course called Neural Networks from Zero to Hero, where he basically goes from you know building a basic neural network all the way to building transform models that are used to power ChatGPT and GPT-3. So it really goes from zero to hero really quick. And finally, to learn reinforcement learning, I recommend David Silver's course on YouTube. If you don't know who he is, he's like the lead scientist at DeepMind who have released algorithms like AlphaGo and AlphaFold. These algorithms kind of are revolutionary, so you literally be learning reinforcement learning from the best of the best. Again, there's a lot here to learn and there's a massive space to cover but you can probably get all the basics and fundamentals down in about three months. A model in a Jupyter notebook has zero business value. I've said it many times. So to be a really good AI or machine learning engineer, you must learn how to deploy your algorithms to production. Areas to learn here are cloud technologies, so AWS, GCP or Azure, containerization tools like Docker and Kubernetes, learn how to write really good production code through things like typing, testing, linting, just everything you need to do to write really good code. And finally, just the general tech skills you need for development, Git, CircleCI, Bash and Z shell, basic commands, just everything you need to do to be like a really good software engineer, essentially. The resources I recommend to learn these things are the practical MLOps textbook, this is pretty much the only book you need. It'll teach you all those processes and systems behind how you actually scale and build machine learning systems in production environments. And if you want another textbook, then designing machine learning systems is another great choice. But to be honest, you only need one of these books. If you got one thing from this video, it's probably that breaking into AI and ML, it's pretty overwhelming. But it's a lot easier and kind of better on your brain if you just take it step by step. So start with the basics. Learn Python, maths, and data structure and algorithms, and that will lay the foundation for pretty much everything you'll do going forward. After that, develop some theoretical knowledge behind AI and ML. Learn neural networks, learn gradient boosted trees, learn RNNs, learn transformers. Just learn a spectra of machine and AI learning algorithms and you'll be really good in that theoretical department. And finally, after you've got all this knowledge, it's then time to really understand how you can scale and build these algorithms in production systems. Like I said, the space is ginormous. So don't expect to get everything in a few months. It'll take you years to fully master just one domain of machine learning. So be easy on yourself. It's possible to learn all the fundamentals in about a year, but to really specialize takes so much time that it's probably infeasible in reality. Just go at your own pace and eventually you'll get to where you want to go. If you want more machine learning advice like this, 
then make sure you check out my weekly newsletter, Edition of Data. It's a place where I give my advice and learnings on data science, machine learning, and tech careers that I wish I knew at the start of my journey. If that sounds interesting, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check out.